What's up guys and welcome to the Texas Fishing Force. I'm Mike and today we are talking about artificial lure colors. What colors you should be using in murky water, what colors you should be using in clear water, and some very specific times that you should be changing the colors of your artificial lure. Now there are a lot of artificial bait manufacturers out there and a lot of them have very very similar colors but today specifically we're talking down south lures. Alright, let's talk color theory. Now color theory can be applied to any bait manufacturer that you're using. Today I am specifically talking about down south lures and I'm doing that for a few reasons. One, I use down south lures more than any other lure by far. If you've ever watched any of my videos, chances are you've seen me use down south lures because I use them on almost every fishing trip. Now because of that, I know every single color that Down South Lures makes and I have caught fish on every single color that they make. Secondly, this video is about color and not about the type of bait. So it's just a lot easier to use the same exact kind of bait so that we can go over color and we're not talking about the, the type or the shape or any of that. We are just talking color today. So that's why I'm taking Down South Lures because they have a huge range of colors and we can go over that with one bait instead of multiple bait. Now, before we go on, I would like to say that I am not affiliated with Down South Lures at all. I am not sponsored by them. I am not pro staff. I just like their lures a lot. Uh, if you've ever watched any of my videos, chances are you've seen me throw Down South Lures because I use them on almost every fishing trip. I just like Down South Lures. Uh, I'm confident in, in them. I'm familiar with them. And so that's why we're talking Down South Lures today. All right, let's talk colors. Now there's quite a few reasons why you'd want to switch the colors of your artificial bait while you're fishing, but today I am just going to go over the two most important reasons, and that is water clarity and bait. How clear is the water, how murky is the water, and what kind of bait is actively running where you're fishing. So first let's get into water clarity. Is the water really, really murky or is it super, super clear? It's all about visibility. Now, there is a common misconception that murky water means dark water and clear water means light water, and that is just not the case. There is not a difference in light or tone, it is a difference in visibility. That is very, very important. A lot of people would assume that in dark water you want to throw lighter lures, and in light water you want to throw darker lures, and because it's not a difference in tone, just visibility, that is not the case. Now I'm going to make this as simple as possible. In murky water, you're going to want to throw darker lures and you're going to want to throw lures that are higher in contrast to the color of the water. In clearer, more visible water, you're going to want to throw lighter lures, you're going to want to throw brighter lures, and you're going to want to throw lures that are more natural in color. So a good way to think about this is if you've ever looked out a window when it's raining really bad or it's really, really foggy, well, it's just a lot easier to see darker objects than it is to see lighter objects. Imagine for a minute if you are driving in your car and it's raining really bad, it's a lot easier to see a black car than it is to see, say, a silver car. Uh, and that is because the difference in contrast, not the difference in light. So in murky water, you do want to use darker colored lures or you want to use high contrast lures. And the reason is, is because it creates a silhouette uh, basic shape of these lures. Uh, the darker colors will show up better in that uh, lower visibility, that murky, murky water. And here are a few of my absolute favorites from Down South Lures that I use pretty much all the time. Number one, Color X, black and red with a copper belly. Um, this is very, very dark. It also has a lot of flake in it, and so that light reflects off of this really, really well. But it also has a lot of contrast, not only to the water, but to itself. The dark on the bottom, the lighter belly, which is also why I like Purple Rain and Red Flash. Same thing, very, very dark uh, back, very, very light belly, um, but dark enough in the water that they stand out. They have that high contrast and they work really, really well. Uh, when you're going for dark lures, uh, this is Red Shad. It's one of the darkest colors that Down South makes. Very, very dark, works really, really well in that really muddy, murky water. And then you have the two Texas Roach. This is Texas Roach and this is Texas Roach Limited or Limited Texas Roach. Uh, very similar, black and silver. And then this one is like black and orange, copper, got a lot of flake in it. 
but those are my absolute favorite lures to use in murky water. They work really, really well. Uh, they create great silhouettes in the water and they're just winners when it comes to murky water. They work very, very well. All right, in your clearer water or water that is much more visible, well, you've got a lot more options uh, because fish can see much further and the water clarity is higher, more visible. Well, you can really use any of the dark colors that we talked about for the murky water, but you have a lot more options. And again, you wanna use colors that are lighter, you wanna use colors that are brighter or flashy, and you wanna use colors that are more natural. So in clearer, more visible water, that's really when you wanna start testing out new lures, trying new colors, uh, finding some confidence in some colors that maybe you've never used before in the past, or something that you haven't had a lot of success with. That is really the time to start trying out all of those colors. Now, when it comes to lighter colors, my favorite is just straight pearl, or you can get this in pearl with a chartreuse tail, like this. These work really, really well. Uh, one of my favorite lures, I use that all the time. And I will say, even in murky water, this is the one light color that I will use, just straight pearl. Uh, it represents a lot of bait fish and it just works well. Another option uh, for lighter colors is bone diamond. Bone diamond is a great, great color. Uh, again, mimics a lot of, uh, of different types of bait fish, works really, really well. Now, when you're getting into more natural colors, uh, well, you have colors like this, Chicken of the Sea, one of my favorite colors, and uh, LaRue's Salt Sassy. These are very, very similar. There are a few differences in color on the backs, but for the most part, these are very, very similar lures. Uh, another one that I really like is Blue Moon. Very, very light in color, but super, super reflective when you have a lot of light that's entering the water. Now, lastly, you want to use colors that are very, very bright or flashy. Uh, you'll, you'll find that in clear or more visible water, sometimes the fish are a little bit more picky, so you want something that really attracts their attention. My favorite flashy lure, bright lure, is this. This is Chartreuse Flash, uh, one of my favorite colors in the uh, more clear, more visible water. There's another great lure. This is Victoria's Secret. It's pink with like brown on the top. Very, very flashy. Fish can see this a long ways away. And then you got Fire Tiger, which is this green with a orange tail. Uh, very, very bright lure. Uh, great for attracting fish from, you know, long distances. Uh, it, it's just a great lure. And I don't see a lot of people using this, but it worked. And then lastly, you have uh, True Plum and Plum Chartreuse. Very, very bright colors. They are very flashy, have tons of blue flake in them, and they, they just reflect very, very well. Great colors to be using in that um, lighter, more visible water. But, you know, this is dark enough where you could probably get away with using this in really murky water and it would still do just fine, especially in uh, water that has a lot of sunlight because it is super, super reflective. All right, let's talk about another time that you would want to switch the color of your artificial, and that is when there are specific types of bait running. Now on the Texas coast, there are about five different types of baits that we're really interested in when we're targeting redfish, uh, flounder, or trout, and that is shad, mullet, croaker, crab, and shrimp. Um, those are really the five big baits that we get excited about when we see because it's uh, easy to target fish once you find those. Now, when you see those specific types of baits, that is a great time to uh, switch the color of lure and match those colors. Uh, there's a saying that if you've been fishing for a while, I guarantee you've heard, and it is match the hatch. You wanna match the color of the bait that is running, the, the bait that those predator fish are chasing. Now when we're talking about mullet, shad, or croaker. Uh, one of the best colors that you can match that with is just pure white. Again, one of my favorite lures, I use it all the time, especially when I see a lot of those bait fish running. This matches it very, very well. Another good version is Bone Diamond. Bone Diamond, it does have a little bit of contrast in it. It's also super reflective and it's great for attracting those fish that are chasing uh, a lot of those bait fish. Now, another option when you're trying to mimic mullet but you wanna stay with more natural colors is things like Chicken of the Sea and La Rue's Salt Sassy. These, uh, are very, very good mimicking lures for those kind of bait fish, and uh, they work really, really well. All right, when you are trying to mimic shrimp, uh, I do generally like to stick to lighter colors. Bone Diamond works really well, and then I also like things that are very, very reflective, like Blue Moon. 
All right, now when I see a crab in the water, I do like to stick to uh, cooler tones like True Plum, Plum Chartreuse, but I also like Blue Moon as well. All of those resemble crab uh, decently, and that's just a great way to mimic those blue crab is with colors like that. Now I know Down South Lures has a lot more colors than we've talked about today. They have a lot more options, but this is really just to get you started in identifying the tones and the types of colors that you should be using in different types of water, or maybe some of the colors that uh, help you mimic certain baits. This is really just to get you started. All right, lastly, if you are new to using Down South Lures, um, you're not sure of what colors to use, or maybe you haven't had a whole lot of success with them, well, I'm going to give you my list of what are must have go-tos if you are trying to use down south lures and here they are all right the first color which is my absolute favorite color from down south lure is color x uh, if you've watched my videos you know that i use this color all the time absolutely my go-to color i've caught more fish on color x than any other down south lure by a long shot. Um, now that can be replaced with Texas Roach or Limited Texas Roach right here. Um, but Color X is definitely a must have. It is uh, my number one color when it comes to Down South Lures. All right, my second must have color from Down South Lures is Pearl or Pearl Chartreuse. Pearl uh, works very, very well. Uh, this is probably my favorite lure when it comes to catching flounder. I've caught a ton on it. I don't know what it is about white, but flounder just love it. I've caught tons and tons of flounder on just straight pearl, but it works just as well for redfish and trout. It's just one of those must have colors. All right, third is either purple rain or red flash. They both work very, very well. Um, super high contrasting colors work great in both murky or clear water. Uh, I, I use them both quite a bit, very, very good colors. If you're kind of trying to transition away from the really high contrast dark or really light color, this is kind of like right in the middle. These work very, very well, caught a ton of fish on both of these and they're really interchangeable. You can use either of them, both of them, whatever works best for you. Now, when it comes to uh, my favorite flashy colored lure, and that is Chartreuse Flash. Super, super bright in the water. Uh, great for trout. Uh, I've caught quite a few redfish on this as well. Very, very good color. It just reflects a ton in the water when you have a lot of light. It is super, super bright, very, very visible in the water. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's a must have for me. And lastly, when you are looking for more natural colors, uh, Bone Diamond or Blue Moon. Um, Honestly, they're both great. It's hard to pick my favorite. I, I think I've probably caught more fish on Bone Diamond, but I've also used it quite a bit more. Works very, very well when you're trying to mimic some of those natural colors. They both reflect very, very well in that uh, higher clarity, more visible water. All right, guys, well, I hope this Down South Lure color guide uh, helps you, regardless if you're using Down South Lures or not. Hopefully the information uh, is helpful. If you have any more questions about this, don't hesitate, leave a comment below, send me a message, send me an email. I try to get back to everybody that leaves comments or sends me messages. Uh, it is a bit overwhelming sometimes, but I, I at least try to get back to everyone in a reasonable time frame. Uh, if you have any more questions, please send me a message. I'll, uh, I'll do my best to answer. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.